in case you haven't noticed, uh, owning a power wash company in the winter means that you have to sometimes take on various projects that have nothing to do with power washing. So we recently got uh, contracted to paint someone's garage floor, which is actually something that uh, I've been interested in getting into is painting garage floors. So we were happy to take this project on and we thought that we would walk you through the process. Uh, two different ways you can go about prepping a garage floor for paint. Uh, one thing, but you always have to make sure mainly what, you know, what you're setting out to do is you've got the garage floor that's got that really shiny uh, concrete with the shiny finish on it. And you gotta get rid of that shiny finish because the, the garage floor paint won't adhere to that. So what you have to do is you've gotta prepare that surface and etch it in some way or scarify it so that it has a bite for the paint to adhere to. So um, there's two ways you can do that. You can either use muriatic acid, um, which would require, you know, you'd have to get the acid lay it all over the floor and then you have to completely rinse it off the problem with muriatic acid is it doesn't always give you a consistent finish uh you know there'll be areas where it has done what it was supposed to do and then there'll be other areas where that sheen still exists so it doesn't give you a consistent finish so the other thing that you can do is you can get a grinder and grind the surface with, and you run that on the floor and it scratches the finish of the garage floor enough to provide you with a bite for the paint. And uh, so that's the process that we chose to do on this garage floor. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you that process now. So there you go, there's the grinding process and what the floor should look like when you're done. Um, I forgot to mention before we started, uh, you know, one thing that you want to do with the floor before you even, before you even decide that you're going to do the job, one thing you need to do is test the moisture in the floor. And uh, one way you can do this is by taping a piece of plastic down on your garage floor and leaving it overnight. And if you come back after 24 hours and there's condensation on the underside of that plastic, then that's a good indication that you've got moisture on your floor, in your floor, coming up from underneath your floor. Um, and you probably shouldn't put paint on it because it's not gonna hold over time that moisture is going to cause the paint to uh, bubble up and peel away and so probably best to not proceed until you can figure out how to deal with the moisture issue. Um, we didn't get any footage of us cleaning the garage floors but once the grinding was done there was a massive amount of dust in there even though we had the grinder hooked up to a vacuum cleaner it still is going to create a, a huge amount of dust and you obviously can't paint the floors with that layer of dust there. So we had to uh, clear the dust away through a process of vacuuming and blowing two or three times. And then after that, we uh, also went over it with, uh, we, we wet the floor down and then squeegeed it off. And that 
pretty much got most of the dust up so we were ready to go ahead and put the first coat down and now we'll show you the first coat going down <laughs> Um, before we put the first coat down, after we wet the floor and squeezed it off, we did let it sit overnight to get completely dried out. Then we put the first coat down. Um, once the first coat was down, again, we let it sit for another 24 hours and we laid the second coat down. And here is the beautiful second coat going down. There you have it, a two-car garage floor painted in less than 10 minutes. Uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, we definitely enjoyed making it. I uh, I, will, I don't know if I would call that a tuto tutorial, but hopefully if you're thinking about painting your garage floor, you did learn a few things from it to help you at least head in that direction. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask your questions in the comments section below and I'll do what I can to answer them. If I can't answer it, I know that I can point you in the direction of someone who can. Um, but you know, if you're in this area and you need to get your garage floor painted, the best thing to do is to call Allied Power Washers and have us come take care of it for you. Um, I wanted to give a special thanks to my friends at Regal Paint Centers for uh, providing us with the materials for this project and also lots of valuable advice on how we could get this job done. Like I said, this is something that we would like to do more of in the future. We did enjoy this project, so hopefully uh, we'll get picked up for some more. But even more hopefully, we'll be putting out some more power washing videos soon. The weather should be breaking here in the next couple of weeks and we'll get back to business as usual. But I do hope that you have enjoyed the uh, the various videos of different kinds of projects that we've been putting out. And um, I didn't want you guys to miss me too much, so I tried to keep as much content going as I could. Um, but we're, we're looking forward to getting back to business as usual. In order to stay updated, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.